everyone, I'm Eileen for readingandwritingtips.com. In this video, I'll be reviewing a book by James Scott Bell called How to Make a Living as a Writer. Uh, stay tuned to find out why I gave this a book four and a half out of five stars and why I think it should be on every author's reference shelf. The summary for this book is that it's a great book with tons of resources for writers all kinds of methods and theories and websites and other books to read, um, written by an author who is successful in self-publishing and traditional publishing. Uh, for the rating, I gave this book four and a half out of five stars, and it's pretty rare for me to give a book five stars, and over four is like exceptional, so this is a really great book. Uh, but the pros of this book is that it's very thorough. It gives you information on the whole gamut of writing, from organizing your day to organizing your book, uh, traditional versus self-publishing. It even goes into talking about short stories and novellas, chapbooks, collections of short stories, um, and things like that. So um, one of the things that I really love about this book is uh, James Scott Bell talks about a system that he created called the lock system and I can't tell you too much about it without giving away his secrets but it's a pretty easy guideline for when you're writing something to keep in mind the four main points that you should be focusing on when you're writing a great story. Some of the cons about this book is there are a couple of parts where Mr. Bell gets a little preachy, is what I would call it. Um, there's a part where he talks about staying healthy and eating good foods and making sure you exercise every day, um, which is great advice, but I don't know that it necessarily belongs in a writing book. Um, it's called How to Make a Living as a Writer, not to How to Make a Life as a Writer, so I thought that was a little um, out of place. There's also a section where there's some pretty negative comments about using social media as an author. Um, so I found that to be a little, I don't know, it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. It was kind of pessimistic and uh, social media can be used for a lot more than just sharing fake happy pictures about yourself, which is uh, kind of what he talks about. Um, there are a handful of typos, um, but nothing that is a showstopper in my opinion. And some of the suggestions in the book uh, for tools and resources that he suggests using are kind of spendy. He recommends using a professional editor, which of course is great if you can afford it. It's several hundred dollars, between three and six hundred dollars, being the median price for a professional editor for a, a novel length book uh, from my personal research. Um, he recommends using a professional cover artist for your book, um, which obviously the cover is what sells your book, so that's definitely some information you want you want to take to heart if you can afford it. Again, uh, professional graphic artists and um, traditional artists are expensive, can be extremely expensive. He also recommends having someone specially lay out the book for you if you're going to be self-publishing um, in an ebook format, uh, which again, can be pretty spendy. Um, there's obviously no adult content or warnings for this book. It's a writing book, so uh, he doesn't use any foul language or talk about anything risque or anything like that, so um, safe for pretty much anyone to read. Uh, in conclusion on this book, do I want my time back? No, I thought it was a great book. Um, like I said, it had lots and lots of resources uh, for authors um, at any level of writing, really, who are looking to uh, move into doing writing full-time, or at least more than part-time. Um, <clears throat> There are just oodles and oodles of books to read and websites that he mentions, theories and methods throughout. He has a sample writing plan in there, um, a sample business plan for a writer, so all kinds of great stuff. Uh, book stats, this was published in October 2014. Uh, the print version has 258 pages. It's available in paperback and Kindle. And you can go to uh, readingandwritingtips.com and go to the book review or the resources page to find links to purchase the book. Links for the website, the book review, and purchasing are also in the description for the video. Uh, so if you've read the book or if you read the book, 
go to, again, readingandwritingtips.com, find the book review and leave some comments there and let me know what you thought of the book. So from, from now until the next video, happy reading and writing.